Hello, it's Sarah. I um, wanted to share some of these little notebooks I've been making. Um, in between swaps this month, I found a really cool uh, tutorial by Annette Green. Um, her blog is Annette's... What is it? Annette's... Just, I'm going to find it right now. I can't believe I'm not prepared. Um, Annette's Creative Journey. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> as I had just looked. And she's awesome. She's on the Graphic 45 design team. Um, she just went to uh, um, Ranger U. So she blogged about, all about that. And that was really cool. But one of her tutorials that she has on there was this little... It's this... Let me see if my... Okay, I can see that pretty good. It's like a notebook holder. And... <laughs> You can you can reuse it when you're finished with the paper. You just slide the notebook out. You have this little sleeve to put. These little notebooks are just from Staples. They're like five by eight, I guess. And so I've been making a bunch of these. Well, of course, it's not going to cooperate. There we go. Um, it started, I had made this, like, one of the first things I ever made, actually, um, was this. And it's um, the, sim the same idea. But it's made from a file folder, and I actually found these at the dollar store, these kind of cool file folders. So it was along those same lines, but this one's kind of a little more flimsy, it seemed. And um, hers are just really cool. They're solid, more solid. She uses um, mat board as her, uh, like not chipboard, mat board. And it's pretty much the same um, ply and everything thickness um, I actually used on quite a few of mine um, cereal boxes so I cut up cereal boxes this is um, actually a new paper stack from Michaels that I just got I think it's like a twilight romance or something like that like it's kind of gothic romance um, I forget the name of it you have this little pocket on the side here and then like I said there's the sleeve so that when you're done the paper, you can just add another um, notebook to it. So it's really cool. It's like, it's pretty solid. So I made up a bunch of them. This is that paper again, and it has the pocket. And I only I only finished a couple because I figured, I'm, I have one craft show a year that I do. And I think I could sell these for like seven or eight bucks. I don't know. Because kids, a kid would like carrying this around probably um, to take notes or whatever. It's, it's kind of small. And then they could do whatever they want to it. And this one, I just kind of liked the map idea. I don't know. I used, she actually uses, um, and I don't have it yet, the sticky back canvas for her um, spines. So I just tried to pick paper that coordinated with the, um, the papers that I was using on the cover and use that. And it works just fine. But I am going to order some sticky back canvas and because that comes in like... Um, white and natural I think and I'd like to see how that looks like this one this paper stack is I don't even remember I've just been going through every paper stack I have and pulling out whatever I have like I fussy cut these little birds there was one there and then I just stickled and put a few things and put a uh, couple of flowers on here I mean I'm trying to appeal to young kids I guess I was with this one I was try I was thinking about you know seeing like a like a tween or something like that that age some kind of wonderful this one says same thing I just fussy cut this butterfly to match and fussy cut this stuff out I actually made these dots all around with my um, gel pens to match the bottom and um, just kind of tried to make it like appeal to a tween um, and then this was the one I'm totally in love with this paper this is um, what is it called I, I have to I've made so many things with it, but I got a bunch of stickers with it and stuff, so I think it's just an easy way for me to embellish something that's kind of flat, not too, uh, not too much going on. Uh, K and Company, I'm sorry, and it's like a, a botanical type, I forget. It was on clearance at Joann's. So I'm really enjoying these. They're really easy to make, so like if you're watching TV, you don't have to think too much. Like you can pre-cut the chipboard out or like I said cereal boxes and pre-cut all your stuff and then kind of and just put it in a stack like that's kind of what I did I just like 
pick my papers and pre-cut them and put them in a stack so I had like two or three to make at one time. Oh, my little birdie got ripped. I'll glue him down. And um, that way you could just kind of mindlessly do it. And then at the end you have this really cool... I think they're neat. They're they're more substantial than the um like I said than the first ones I made, which these are pretty with the with the lace and everything. Maybe I don't know if I I I'll, I wouldn't um try to make one with a ribbon. I mean, you could probably add a ribbon, but you don't really need it on these cuz the book it closes really nice. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. Um her name's Annette Green. Very talented woman. And um go to her blog, check it out. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.